Welcome back to Coin Chartist. I'm Tony the Bull, here to help you make sure that the crypto market is no longer a flip of the coin. Since my last video, Bitcoin prices increased more than $10,000 per coin. The video sparked a lot of interest in my audience surrounding Elliott Wave Principle, so I wanted to continue on that theme and explain what should happen next if my wave count is accurate. To prove that the technical analysis I am using is by the book, I am handpicking a concept from my signed copy of Elliott Wave Principle, Key to Market Behavior, which has been personally signed by the book's author, Robert Prechter. At the end of the video, I'll provide a link on how to get the ebook for free. In particular, we are going to look at an idealized Elliott Wave progression chart that highlights the channeling technique that I'll be using throughout the video and includes general sentiment and wave characteristics of each individual wave. The technique is as simple as it gets and involves drawing a parallel line across where wave 2 ends and wave 4 ends and extending it across to the other side where wave 3 ends. This gets you a feel for where wave 5 might terminate. If we count out the waves in Bitcoin using the BTC CME chart, the structure, wave patterns, sentiment and more have all what we consider the right fit. At the bottom, there's generally tons of bad news. For Bitcoin, expect it to be pronounced dead by the mainstream media. Wave 1 is the initial rebound from undervalued levels. This is when investors start to recognize the possibility of survival. Wave 2 is a retest of lows that doesn't set a new low. Conditions are usually as negative as the previous bottom. The underlying trend is still expected to be down. The lack of a new low in Wave 2 is what tells more participants to enter in Wave 3, which makes Wave 3 usually the longest and strongest of all waves. Wave 3 cannot be the shortest wave. Wave 3 is usually a powerful wave supported by a positive news cycle, growing fundamentals, and more. Wave 4 is a surprising disappointment. This is because it signals that the best part of the growth phase has ended and is caused by initial profit taking. Wave 5 is then the final advance. Performance and fundamentals improve, but not at the same levels as Wave 3. Psychology such as FOMO, fear, etc. create incredible overvaluation. Considering the record bearer sentiment, significant levels of investors who believe the cycle has ended, and more, it's a recipe for an emotional driven wave like never before. So if this is the final advance, what happens next? The real end of the cycle will arrive and it won't be fun. If Bitcoin truly can reach prices of over $100,000 per coin in wave 5, then corrects back down to current levels, we could be looking at an over $100,000 per coin drop when it's all said and done. The damage that would do to investors is substantial, but that's just Bitcoin and how it all works. Air markets and corrective waves form in three waves labeled ABCs. The end of the correction should terminate somewhere in the range of the previous wave 3 and 4, so between 15,000 and 65,000 per coin. But don't turn bearish just yet. That time will come. In Elliott Wave Principle, all larger waves subdivide into smaller degree waves. For now, we will want to wait until the bottom of the current lower time frame correction to complete and understand where wave 2 ends and our new subwave channel can be drawn from. However, I'll return to that in a moment. I want to address one of the most commonly asked questions I get, and perhaps the poorest argument that the cycle is already completed. Several analysts have labeled the cycle as completed using the second 2021 top. However, this is incorrect for several reasons, which I'll disprove next. To start, the end of the incorrectly labeled Wave 5 came nowhere close to touching what should be the projected top of the channel from the Wave 2 and Wave 4 connected parallel lines. This additional idealized corrective wave example from the Elliott Wave textbook, it highlights how ABC corrections can feature either a higher or lower high. In the larger degree mode of wave, correction types alternate. This means that Wave 2 and Wave 4 should feature unique corrective behavior, and they do in Bitcoin. The first correction is a zigzag with the lower high as the example shows. The second correction, meanwhile, is an expanded flat with a higher high in the B wave. But what's next, Tony? We play the waiting game. Having already taken positions under $16,000 per coin due to the fact that Wave 4 should never enter Wave 1 price territory, my plan is to wait and see where Wave 2 of the larger degree Wave 5 ends. As you may recall from the first example of the channeling technique at the start of the video, during wave 2, everyone still thinks it's a bear market. It isn't until a new low isn't made that everyone begins to pile in into what is becoming a clear trend change. If for whatever reason Bitcoin does make a new low, 
not only is the smaller Wave 2 count invalidated, but more than likely Bitcoin would lose 14,000 and the entire larger Wave count would be invalidated also. But I don't think so. To the top of the channel we go, in my eyes. This is further supported by the slope of the last trend channels, which have always terminated at the top of their smaller individual channels. We also have massive rounded parabolic support building since early 2021. Want to learn Elliott Wave Principle? As promised, you can get the ebook from my partners at Elliott Wave International for free by clicking the link. You can also visit Coincharters.io for comprehensive guides on crypto trading, which includes applying Elliott Wave in crypto markets. If you want more of this type of analysis, I've launched an exclusive weekly Substack newsletter called Coincharters VIP. It provides exclusive access to a premium tool set of technical indicators. To learn more, head to coinchartist.substack.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. You can also follow or interact with us on Twitter, where we share trading tips, fun facts about finance, and much more.